Hey guys, today we're having a late night cravings version of this episode and I'm gonna be making cauliflower wings with some of the crusts left over from my mom's um, rye bread that I used for my Caesar salad video that I will link over somewhere over here. And for this you're gonna need obviously a cauliflower and from my beautiful intro you guys saw how I boiled it for about I don't know it's it's not soft but it's not too hard either just press it with like a stick or something and you'll know for sure it has to be just like kind of soft and for this you also saw that I um, put them into the oven for about 10 minutes because the ovens at 550 right now so I'm gonna be crushing these up right now with one of these and I'm gonna be adding some seasonings to this as well and I need these. I think you guys might have seen the food processor right here when I was doing this I decided not to use the food processor this is just as good and to this we will add some pepper not too much spices because we're going to be using the barbecue sauce but just enough some salt some dill some dried dill let me clarify dried basil this is this is the best i love basil especially when it's dried as in like soups and stuff some paprika for color and a little tiny bit of curry and then to this these breadcrumbs i'm gonna add a bit of rice flour just so that the it gets that nice crunch that you're looking for and I'll come over here, wait, take all the air out, and come over here, and you guys can see we crushed this thing. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to admit for the first time, for the very first time that I was wrong, and just seen, just said, why don't you just use a food processor, and I was like, yeah. I'm gonna use a food processor because this uh, the the bread was too tough. That was an accident. I, I wanted to keep talking, so I'm just gonna keep mixing this in here. So this is ready, and I'm just gonna add a little, maybe like a one and a half teaspoons of this rice flour. I might add a bit more. Just a little. No, this is good. Just gonna mix this up and it already has that breadcrumb smell you know like, like the seasonings and stuff it's really good and this is gonna go into here into our first bowl and just get it just like that and then we're gonna prepare this cauliflower for everything that's gonna happen to it i'm gonna pick apart the pieces like this and I might make these a little bit smaller, like half them, but this is a good size. And I'm just going to pick these all apart and then put them on our racks and stuff. I decided that a bowl would be a lot more easier to mix in. So, I actually, um, this is a fun fact about this video. I used four different types of barbecue sauce for this. You don't, you don't have to do that, but... I needed just enough and I wanted to mix and match all the flavors. So I'm going to be doing that. And then you're going to add all of your barbecue sauce on top of this and then mix it carefully enough for it not to ruin the style of the cauliflower because it's been cooked already. Just carefully make sure everything is coated and then you're going to dip them in here. Okay, so these are all thoroughly mixed and I brought out a pan and I'm just gonna mix these up just like that just coat them enough and because we're gonna be dipping these in sauce anyways you don't have to double dip them so just leave them like that as long as they get dried in the oven you'll be fine I'm just gonna do a few at a time to save time Look at these. Don't these kind of look like chicken wings though? 
Yeah, I haven't had a chicken nugget in a long time, so I wouldn't know. Like that dark color, it's from the rye bread, but mm -hmm. it's, it looks really appetizing. I'm super excited. So I'm going to put these into the oven at 550. And I'm just going to wait until they get crisp. You know, you know when you know. You know? <laughs> so I'm just going to put these in there. And yeah. You'll see us then. Okay, so these have been in there for about 15 minutes and I'm going to be flipping them over and putting them in for another 15 minutes. But um, usually I do this in the air fryer so it doesn't take that long, but I, I did so much of it that it just seemed normal to use the oven. So we're just going to be waiting a little bit longer than expected, but you'll be seeing this very soon. So these are ready but they're still too hot to taste test them so i'm just gonna leave them a bit for out leave them a bit for outside i'm just gonna leave them outside for just a bit it's got that crust it's really crunchy it's so good and yeah i'm just gonna do that and then you'll see me taste testing these i don't think anyone else wants to taste test them with me though it's just gonna be me today it's already too late for the kids to eat anyways they had some ice cream and mom and dad are at home today so this was like late night craving. Mom can't be here to try it with me. But we'll still make it through without them for a day. Okay, so we took our pictures and everything and now it's time for the actual taste testing. So let's take this one. It's really good. It has that crunch that you really want. This is really spicy. I, I picked up the wrong sauce by accident. But we've been trying and testing all these different types of cauliflower wings, but I find that this one is the best one. Because I usually do this one in the air fryer with actual breadcrumbs, but this time we had some leftover from crusts from the Caesar salad, and I was like, Oh, wasting is not an option and it did add a really nice flavor to it the rye bread it's like it had this darker flavor because I left it in the oven and it burnt a little bit I made sure it did because I kind of wanted that burnt ish barbecue flavor even though we already have the barbecue sauce but it it goes well together and I really hope you try this with rye bread because it's it's a different not a level of experience it's not like this thing but it's really good and if you make this, please let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. And yeah, quick, quick. This was not quick. Easy vegan cauliflower wings. And they're good.